MacBook Pro. I'm gonna create my new wallpaper, this touch bar. If you have school and stuff like that, I think sticky notes are very useful. So What's up guys welcome back to a brand new video but today's video i want to do an unboxing of my new macbook pro i also want to go ahead and like customize it with you guys so i don't know i just wanted to film this i thought it'd be a cool video and i know a lot of people do these on youtube but yeah this is the box that it came in i'm gonna be honest i did open it up already you know i was starting school i needed to do my homework and stuff like that but i did film before when i opened it i'll play that actually right now just saw me open up the box and show you guys what was inside of it this is also the one with the touch bar on it as you can see in the picture so now that we're done with the box we're gonna go ahead and move straight into the laptop in the startup screen you do get the option to transfer directly from your old laptop to your new laptop and I did exactly that after about 30 minutes everything transferred to this laptop pretty easily I actually didn't buy any accessories but one thing and that's the most important thing which is an adapter so I will I will show you guys but um for now let's just get right into this laptop okay guys, so excuse this new angle I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the laptop from this angle so you guys can actually you know see what exactly what i'm doing take a look at the laptop so slim it's so beautiful i personally love it this is what it looks like once it's open right up like i said guys i already started it up i already went through that whole process and to log into your computer instead of typing out a password you could do that as well but you also can be using touch id right so this is where you put your finger for touch id so this is what it looks like when it first pops up guys like i said keep in mind i started using this already i do want to point out also that as you see i have my dock on this side usually the dock is down on the bottom but you know i preferred it this way so now it's pretty much the part of you know customizing the macbook and setting it up so first thing i want to do when i customize the macbook i want to low-key clear up my dock area because i don't know if you guys can see it is pretty full with things that i honestly don't even use on the daily basis right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna click quit and then once I click quit, I could just right click it again and then remove from dock. So that's what I'm gonna do for that. Okay, so now that our dock is pretty clean, something I do want to point out before we continue is the adapter that I bought as I was talking about to you guys earlier. I bought it on Amazon. I will leave the link in the description. You just plug it in on the side. Trust me, it's worth it because you're going to need it eventually, right? Before we move on to anything else, let's go ahead and change the accent color. So what you do is just go to System Preferences, right? And then from System Preferences, you're going to go to General. And then you're going to go ahead right here, it says Accent Color. And let's just play around with it I'm not gonna lie guys lately i've been feeling the orange vibe so i'm gonna go with the orange color because now that we did the accent colors i want to go ahead and like change this because i personally don't like how it is go to settings and from settings we can go to appearance right all you gotta do is come here to press theme once you press theme it brings up this op this whole thing and you could choose the colors that you want this one looks pretty cool so I'm gonna go and choose this option right here. Just gonna press add to Chrome. And I'm just gonna go ahead, install. And oh, look, it automatically just does it. As you see, this is the, what I had just installed. And it's pretty cool. So now that we have that ready, we're gonna go ahead and go to canva.com. Canva is where I'm gonna create my new wallpaper. Good thing about Canva is they have the option under create a design. You could just choose desktop wallpaper right there and you just press on it. And then uh, this will pop up. But I personally just want to do this on my own. I just have images that I want to put. Feel free to make your wallpaper anything you want. So this is what I have so far. I just got a little neon thing going on. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this, but for now, we're just going to keep it like this. I'm going ahead and export it right now. The next step is we want to make it our wallpaper. So it's pretty much under downloads right here. So there you go, it just popped up. So now I just press it and this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool actually now that it's there, you know, it's very vibrant. So now that we have this there, let's go ahead and move on. Next, I want to go ahead and figure out this touch bar because I low-key want to change it up a bit. So I just put touch bar in system preferences, touch bar. 
so i'm just gonna go ahead and customize the control strip of my touch bar okay this is pretty cool oh this is so cool because look if i bring my mouse down it goes to the actual touch bar what i didn't know that was a thing it says drag your favorite items to the bottom of the screen to add them to the touch bar drag items up from the touch bar to remove them i want to remove the siri i don't need it so i'm just going to bring that up there and I could actually bring up screenshot. I do use screenshot a lot for YouTube, so I could put that up here. Oh my God, that's so cool, guys. Look how it's moving. So now that I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and press done up here. And yeah, the next step that I actually wanna do is sticky note. You know, if you have school and stuff like that, I think sticky notes are very useful. So pretty much you just pull up a sticky note, right? And I can leave it right, right there. And if I wanna put my school schedule there, like which I do, grab whatever you want, whether it's in your folder or whatever, and you drag it. To the sticky note you let go and there you go it could be pictures it could be cool anything like that and you could actually change the color of your stickies so if i want it to be pink or gray or green you know i could do that as well here i'm gonna go ahead and add another one so pretty much i just hit on stickies again and you just go to new note for right here is i'm gonna go ahead and put um my youtube video ideas Um, I want to change the fonts because I don't really like this font to whatever you want. Probably going to do that right there. I'm just going to put that up here. YouTube video ideas. And we got my school schedule right here. And then the last note that I want is a calendar. So yeah guys, this is what it looks like close up. Um, I love the wallpaper the most. We got the calendar on the bottom, my YouTube video idea section, and we got my school schedule right there. So guys, that's going to end this video right here. Hopefully this video informed you in any kind of way or helped you in any kind of way. If it did, guys, don't forget to give this video a like right now. Or even if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give this video a like right now. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you're on new. It was great hanging out with y'all in today's video, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.